you. I got something to sell you. I mean, tell you. Have you ever gotten a car accident, but it wasn't your fault, but the insurance company said it was your fault? Say no more, fam. Your boy, your boy, got you covered. Hey, for real? How, man? I'm gonna tell you how I got you covered. You ever just wish you had something, you know, something that can just show the cops, the ops, the insurance people that, like, it wasn't your fault, but you couldn't do it? Bam! I got you covered, baby. This right here, fam. Fam, read what what'd that say? Can we read? Let's read out loud together, class. Stream media mirror dash cam. That's exactly what this is. And this is why you need this in your car. I'm I, 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 I. It's been a long time since I did this, girl. Check me out, fam. Check me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I get warranty. Say less, fam. Alright, so now that we got this. Oh, look at that. Look at the eyes. Quavo, where you at? Yeah, that my uncle, Big Quay Quay. This right here is your dash cam. Well, this is the dash cam, but this is the meat, bro. Look at, bro, look at this. Look! Ice, ooh. And then in the box, you have all this stuff needed, like your power cord, power supply, uh, mounts and everything, chargers, GoPro, not GoPro, but 3M mounting things, and everything is right here for you to make this bad boy work the way it should work. Oh my God, look how dope this is. So, man, oh, this is so sick. So, I'm gonna put this in the car. I'm gonna put this in our sex and give you guys, man, I look good, hey, hey. No matter what anybody tell you, you a baddie. You a dime piece. Anybody would love to have you. Don't you ever forget that. All right, so we in RSX. I uh, got everything right here. Got the mirror. This replaces this, so that's pretty cool. So you don't no longer need this. You got this one now, and it's even, like, it looks much better. And we got a fat camera on the back, fam. Yes, sir. So that's going to go there. Boom. And then right here we have, this uh, goes to the power, no, this is not the power source. I forgot exactly what this was. This right here is GPS, so it does have GPS right here. This is your GPS one, and this goes into the bottom of the camera. Well, not camera, but the uh, window, with the, the, yup. Goes in the bottom of that. And this is our power supply thing right here, Playboy. So, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount this bad boy on. Uh, I see the tabs right here. I might just 3M tape it, because, well, I thought these hooks would hook on it like so but that ain't uh that ain't uh looking like how it's supposed to do it so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna mount this bad boy but once i get that figured out we shall proceed now this isn't how i'm going to run this but for now uh yeah this is this is it <laughs> i got it mounted up i got a 3m tape the back but i just put some rubber bands on it just to get it to hang up but yo, check it out. It's pretty cool, man. I already did this before I filmed it to make sure everything works. But yo, check this out. Check this out, Playboy. Ooh, give a couple seconds for it to come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, we are looking at the stars. Why are we looking at the star? But hold on, no. Let's touch screen too as well. Did I mention it's touch screen? Because it is. Hold on, Playboy. Bam! Look at that. I mounted the camera upside down, as you guys can see. But look at that, look at the quality. Time, touch screen, and if I wanted to, oh, I could take a picture. Take a picture, hit record. Please stop recording. And then we go here. We go to front files. Why are we looking at the stall? But hold on, no. Let's touch screen too as well. Audio Actually, included. Because it is, hold on, Playboy. Bam! Look at that. Uh, that is sick. That is so I'm in the settings now changing everything uh, I don't live in GMT fam I don't even know what that is I have no idea what the hell that is but we're, we're just gonna send it all right uh, movie mode the settings you got over here movie mode we got 1080p 720p full HD no 4k but we don't even it's a dash camera bro it's all we good we good all right, so let's uh, go drive and we'll see some quality of this bad boy. And no, it's not 8.30 in the morning because you know you both don't wake up that early with it. God damn.
this shit dope, ain't it? So I just got home from driving around with the uh, dash cam stuff all hooked up. And man, what do you guys think about that quality? I think it looked dope. Like, this thing is it, it's dope. And if you guys are interested in this, fat sick old discount down in the description box below. And I want to give a huge thank you to Boss Cam for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get on to the rest of the video. So it's 2020, and I have yet to drive Christina. But that's for good measure because this nigga's car is trash and it's broken. So I haven't drove the car, but today I should probably drive the car. But before we drive the car, I gotta raise up the rear end. I mean, raise up, lower the rear, cause it's a little too high. Well, it's not high, but I can go lower, a little bit more lower, like half an inch lower. And if you can see, I have no more Sparko. Uh, finally sold the blue seats. I told you guys why I sold them because I didn't like the design of the Sprint 2. I don't know where Sparkle was going with that design. That thing looked like 1999. It was that had to go, bro. It's 2020. We can't do that. But I really want a Recaro pole position seat. So I'm trying not to be impulsive and buy some fake brides or something. I want something good for like uh, the road course and you know something that's you know that's legal. Not legal, but like. It's better than reps. I don't. I don't want to buy reps. I at least want to buy at least one real seat instead of buying two reps with you know the whole thing with like um, like on on eBay you can buy some uh, bride reps for like seven forty six shipped and it comes with seat rails, brackets, everything, and two bride seats. But that's a good deal. But I'd rather just buy one real seat and get that cool credit of like oh wow Josh got a real seat. You know I'm trying to I'm trying to do my best and be patient and buy quality parts, you know what I mean? So, yep, hopefully get this bad boy on the road today. Uh, so far, the car's driving good, no issues. I need to do an oil change. Um, but other than that, man, it's good. But let's start by getting this lowered to match the front, because I gotta go a little bit lower. So we're gonna lower that, and then hopefully we get a ride in today, playboy. Now, in case you guys ask, uh, yo, Josh, bro, what cool load are you running? Well, you already know what's gang out here. I am running my function form type twos with some Eibach 10K springs in the rear and 12K up front and MPC uh, lower control arms along with their subframe brace uh, and some eBay camera kits that I need to get rid of because these are garbage. And I also have to. Um, upgrade this bushing in here because that thing is doo-doo cheeks but wow look at all this what is this brake dust i don't know what that is right there this is not i don't like that play boy y'all see that right there oh no i don't like that at all but i'm about to upgrade these rotors man i'm about to get some big boy rotors because uh february 11th is time uh track night in america so I'm trying to get the car ready for that. I gotta buy brake pads. I need some good brake pads, some good brake fluid, and some new road. I gotta probably spend like three to four hundred dollars on getting the brake system set up to run stock brakes because I, I may, maybe I should get the wheel wood kit. I don't know. I don't know. David from Hybrid was like, nah, bro, just run the stock. Uh, just get some good pads and brake fluid, and you should be good. So maybe my car don't need a big brake kit since I'm not making big power, but. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. is well i haven't drove it yet but that's it now uh once the spring settle it should go a little bit lower to match i just want to match the front i don't want to really slam the back too much and not have the front to match because that'll look tacky and stupid but for the most part that's how it's going to look maybe maybe a little bit lower um uh, might got a camber i hope not i don't like i don't really want a camber but but i need to wash this thing i need to wash this car Man, I miss my Tiger, bro. Can't wait to drive it today. My brother's leaving to go out of work, well, out of state for work, so that means we will have full ownership of the garage slash driveway. So then I could park the RSX and drive the Beauty, the Beast, stock seats, Integra. That's crazy, bro. I really have stock seats again. I can't believe this. But hopefully I can find a Recaro pole position for like 700 bucks or 800 bucks. I just need a good deal. That's all. All I want is a good deal on a seat. Before we can drive the Integra, let me go fulfill some P 
people's orders. So if you don't know, uh, I run a company called Zashim FG, where I, well, it's not, I wouldn't say a company yet, <laughs> but I have a brand called Zashim FG where I make shirts. Well, I don't, well, I can say I make shirts now because I got, well, I don't make them, but I sell, I offer <laughs> apparel, a sticker, stuff like that, and I have a subsidiary company, like under um, Zosh Mavjus, which is called Marauder, and I have two banners I have to make, so I'm gonna teach you guys, well, walk you through how I uh, make my banners. It's pretty simple, pretty clean. If you wanna start your own little sticker business, you can. Look how gross my room is, dog. I need to clean up. Like, I got, it's ridiculous, but, this is my sticker machine, and this is the vinyl that I had to buy so I can make these banners. Uh, yeah, so pretty much we're gonna make some banners. Okay, so got my machine all loaded up with the vinyl. Blah, 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 say, blah, say. We come here to my software that I use, which is Vinyl Master Cut 4.0, Marauder Banner. This is it. The dimensions are 27 inch by 5.4, so 27 inches long. 5.4 inches wide, length, wide, beef, beef, blah, blah, blah. So, yep, go to cut now. And this thing should start cutting it, bad boy, after I hit, after I hit what, cut now or something? I don't know. Oh, can't find it. Oh, oh, okay. Forgot. Gotta turn it on. That makes sense. Alright. Now, it should detect some, oh, no, no, there we go, cut now, proceed with cutting, yeah, and now it's gonna cut, pretty simple, pretty simple, and I used to do this every day when I was going like hard on stickers, but I'm slowly going to, to um, not fade out from doing them, but just buy a bulk order uh, from a friend that makes stickers and then just be faster, I can support him, even though I got my own machine to do it, but I'm getting busier and busier and busier and I would rather like fulfill shirt orders or shift knob orders instead of like, you know, getting vinyl, weaving it, uh, you know, doing everything to make a sticker a sticker. Uh, so, I, yeah, just be more time effective. So, if I could just buy a bulk order of Marauder banners, for uh, however much money it'll cost, then yeah, that's just be the way to go. But hey, man, this is all I got rocking with right now. But I'll, what am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. two ways you know what I mean I will at least have you know I have something wide enough for my mom if or whoever whoever sit in this car or you know what I mean I don't know fam I'm finna send it on three I'm going for it this what's up 
What's up guys, Zosh back with another POV video. I hope you guys are enjoying these. What if I was like that? Like, what if I started off my videos like, Yo, what's up? Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Go ahead and shoot a like on the button before the video starts. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I probably, I probably wouldn't be as mildly unsuccessful as I am. I'd low-key probably be successful. I, I think if I started my videos like that, I think I would touch a different audience. Whoa, pause, fire upon that. I mean, I touch no audience. But uh, you never know, bro. Like, wow. But yeah, man, got the GoPro app on so I can see how the angle is. And this angle looks pretty dope. What you guys think? Cool, cool. So after driving the Integra, um, it sucks. Those seats are trash, but look how cool this is. So this is the daily, of course, and this is the race car, bro. Like, look how, bro, I would have never imagined me having two cool ass cars, man. Like I imagined it, but I never thought it would happen so fast, even though I've wanted this for years, but like, it feels like it's so surreal, man. Like this is, what not giving up and working hard and dedication gets you bro like man like i hate what i hate i honestly hate when like that's weird like i hate watching inspiring videos or hearing motivational speakers who are already rich and stuff but it's like it's like man of course you love your circumstance but it's like man i just want to motivate <laughs> it's like man you guys can have all this stuff too man you just gotta keep at it bro like you guys pretty much know more about my life than probably I do. Like, I, I'm so transparent about, like, my living situation when I was, like, homeless for, like, a month or so. And, you know, freaking, you know, having all the stress of making sure everything's paid for. It, it's crazy, bro. Like, it, it's it, it's nuts to see how, like, my first car, of, well, essentially my first build or whatever is, like, it's case swapped Got all cool parts on it. Even my rotor slips look cool. So... It's cool, man. It's cool. Oh yeah, the rear settled. So that's how the rear looks now with no camber and it matches the front. Kind of, right? I don't think it matches the front. It looks good to me though. Here's a side profile. More in depth. Looks cool. Looks good. Man, look at, bro, this is my car, bro. Alright, Christina, see you later. So, I'm on my way to Randy's job to get an alignment, but before I even proceed with what I was going to tell you, because that was the video. Uh, in my last video, if you. Uh, if this is your first time watching this video, blah, blah, blah. Um, I said that stock Integra LS seats are better than DC5 Type S seats or RSX seats in general. Yeah, I capped my ass off because uh, these seats feel like God compared to those other seats. So I'm sorry for hurting um, all of the fellow DC5 owners um, out there with that statement. Integra LS seats are ass. Facts.
Bro, look how cool that is. That Nami's only oh, sister, but Matt Rainey's job on the alignment rack. Oh. Uh, all right. I just want niggas to know, you know. Cool. Niggas be hitting my phone, saying they they about to blow. Psych, yikes. Y'all like the project light. None of y'all niggas is old. What? Oh, drone. Don't really smoke. Uh. Woo! Why don't these people hit the like button? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I don't know why either. If you thought this video was enjoyable, just share, share one. Go ahead and hit that like button for you, boy. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. My gas tank. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed some form of this, man. I really hope you did, bro. I'm trying to be rich. I wonder what Barack Obama is doing right now. He probably chilling, huh? I wonder if he eats buffalo wild wings. <laughs>